Hey everybody, welcome to Bob Squad. <laughs> I'm Dan Stacy, and you're about to witness my nerdy family, and I use silly voices and exploding dice for the 200th time! <laughs> <laughs> Don't make noises. No, no. I know we don't make noises. <laughs> All right, guys. Now without the noises. <laughs> You're like trying to light a cigar over there. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll never <laughs> get done. You guys, the world is ending. <laughs> Yay! 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 It's Yay! Time. Uh, We've got cookies. We've got cookies. <laughs> we have cookie cake. We have champagne. Nope. Uh, we have. Oh! Diet it's happening. Diet Look at that. Why? Mm. Diet pain. Diet pain. No, no. Don't be jealous. Oh my. Oh no, brown cow. Oh, um, guys. To 200. To 200, 200 more. Yeah. yeah. Four years. Yeah. Four years. <laughs> oh, dear. hundred more All the babies. Oh, Thank dear. you all. Thank oh, you, man. viewers, whenever you're watching Thanks this. Thanks for being here. Really? Yep. Thanks for being here, Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. School. School. Oh, oh man. That's that's so so with prejute. Oh, was I not supposed to drink already? I already did. Salute. You're fat. One. Yow. Yow. Oh. Nope. <laughs> What David, do you want mine? I just smell it and it just goes. David's just wrong. That's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> it's currently going down my throat, going ta, 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 ta. See, I'm not alone. Yeah. <laughs> Compared to the dandelion stuff earlier. <laughs> okay. It's about oh, the same. Y'all take big, big gulps it's, there. It's, it's better than the dandelion stuff. Sorry. Wow. So. I don't know. I'm into right, the hero again. music right now. I love you guys. Thank just you guys for here. doing this. Thank Next you. 15 minutes. We're at, we're nearing the end here. We're going to do a challenge event. Wow. Yeah, Kristen's got the chocolate shots. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, there is, there is. Um, um, there. If you one. weren't prepared, pause yeah. now, rewind, get a drink, and join us. Yes. Ready? Three, mm -hmm. two, two, one. Uh, cheers! Come by! Come by! No. Oh, oh boy. boy. Oh. Cool. What's that? Nasche druzhva, come by. Nasche um, druzhva. Salute. What else can we get? Glong sweat. Glong sweat. Keep one. All right, so. <laughs> oh, obviously. Let's dive into the 200th episode oh, of Bomb Squad. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Dive back in to 200 episodes. <laughs> Join the behind the scenes because we had to hard reset again. And <laughs> oh, only those okay, in the know know. Man, we've been struggling, man. Okay, let's actually do this. Um, okay. We're going to do a little RP I gotta concentrate. with Sam and uh, getting a plan together. And then we had everyone, everyone selecting three attributes. They're gonna roll it. We're gonna see how successes and failures go. Most of it'll probably be contested rolls, um, unless we're doing a specific boon, and then we'll probably use the boon challenge rating. And then we'll come back in our next session. We'll just we're just gonna collect the rolls and the intent of the characters. We'll see how the rolls go, and then we'll take some time here before the next session to play it out and see what happens. Uh, behind the scenes a little bit. The players gave me a list of NPCs. Due to failure count, some of them will be making the ultimate sacrifice. Some of you may die. Some of you may die. <laughs> and that's that a risk. 
is a risk I am willing to take. <laughs> I have already rolled. They gave me a list. I rolled, and two have been selected. Players do not know. We'll find out he next month. One. Two. Oh dear. Sexual me to roll twice. I'm just kidding. Oh. I did say two. I said two. You said two. I'm yep. holding them to it. Yep. And, uh, I want more moments. I missed that. <sighs> it's gonna be good, and I'm. As pleased with the selection as one can be with the death of NPCs, you know what I'm saying? I yes, don't know sir. what that's supposed to mean. And, you know, it's it worked out well. I'm excited for what's going to happen. So I'm, I'm just holding them. <laughs> <laughs> we got a area of this is episode four. <laughs> gotta get David home. So uh, we'll pick up okay. relatively right where we left off. Yeah. At the meeting. Um, how do we want to start this? I'm sorry, we didn't really uh, think about how we. I was thinking one up. thing. There could yeah. have been some talking going on. Well, I think off Aurora would actually go up to Sam and shake her hand and mm. welcome to on when. On when. This is all. I have so many questions, but I guess we could save those for later. Well, not all of them. Mm. Go on. You seem to know what you're doing here. <laughs> Pretty much For been sure. at this my whole life. How can that be? It's only started this year for us. Well, that part I don't really know. Some kind of time difference? Well, clearly, I used to be the younger sister. What? <laughs> You've been a big brother all this time? I had an older brother and a younger sister, yes. Ooh. On the glass. Do you remember? I. Somehow, when I ejected from the glass and got to Anwen, time went different for me. On the glass, those those bodies, they were decayed. Old. Long time. I remember you saying that. And I guess whatever timeline the glass followed, where I come from, that's where it went. And to answer your question, that time difference is probably why we, we have been fighting this for decades and decades. So over time, we become adapt to how to fight these, these things. Well, that's, that's good because you gotta show us how to take these things apart. Well, I think the best person to show you that would be my son. Oh. <laughs> well. You seem excited about that. What? Um. It's okay. <clears throat> so what's your name? I think he should introduce oh, himself. Yeah. Is he there? Of course. Is he there? <laughs> He'll take oh, his the moment. Off. <laughs> He's Shake an Unten. In look, right? I thought it was the male. No, it was mother. Never mind. Okay. It's a human. Oh. But Even no. better. I, I'm not lying. I remember it was being the male. Oh, I mixed up with Bohan. Never mind. You know, oh. we got a world build. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's things. It's a lot of world building. <laughs> Careful. What's he look like? He has Tarek's facial structure. Mm. Um. The Hasleys have very small mouths, like very thin, mm. like they're always pursing <laughs> their lips. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, and he has that. Um, that works his, well with. But his structure, his <clears throat> eyes, his eyes are Tarek's eyes. <clears throat> That's cool. There, so it's a. <clears throat> there would be this essence of almost kind of getting a look at younger Brick. Sort of. There's parts of it that would be like, oh, that might have been what Brick looked like younger, but mm. there's slight things that you guys wouldn't know that are different, that would just stand out as different. The eyes, mm. specifically. But I think the hair, you can see in the hair, the way it sits, it's Brick's hair. And it's it's like, if it's longer, it's like that strawberry blonde. Yeah. Like that, that dark strawberry blonde. He definitely doesn't keep up with any kind of military code, I don't think, at this point. It's one of his small rebellions. I'm Ding. 
At least that's what my friends call me. Ding? It's an Unten name. Named after my father. Can you tell them how you use your weapons? I'd prefer a demonstration. We can do that. If you can keep up. Oh, try me. Please. (laughs) 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 I think part. Cut to Brick's face. As the mom of. As the mom of a just son. Just met my nephew for the first time more, and <laughs> him, him sitting on it. I'm more just happy to see this, to see like my son have some kind of, something other than fighting, fighting, fighting. So yeah, I think that's it's like good. amusing for me. No, kind of like what I wanted for Brick, I mean, but Brick didn't have, I mean, Jonathan, I'm going to keep calling him Brick. That's all right. He's, He's, 20. <laughs> He's like 21, 20. okay. something like that. Because if he was, would have been in utero, Mm-hmm. When they left, <laughs> yeah, he's okay. just about twenty-one. All right. Um, would you guys would be able to say that being a human, you guys would be familiar with that aging? Yeah, we can show you. It's we're efficient at killing them, but they just keep coming. That's well. That's why we're here. To be honest, why we fled, in a way. <laughs> We lost, and this is the last of humanity. You, Everything you see here on the ship, that's the it. the bones? This is it. The bones is gone. You lost. It's all we could do to survive. Mm-hmm. People were yeah. turning into vegetables. We tactically retreated. It's okay to have a little bit of humility. But we're here, we made it. This is a, a success. You lost your world? Every, like, but we survived. Sam. Up there. What is that? The last of humanity. The last of us. Everyone. Does it have the same drive that B made? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at Ryan too. He has even more. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It's there. <laughs> So you're telling me that every colony, every planet, every station, the bones, everything that's left is right there. Mm. Well, as far as we know, it's not like we could get everywhere. We did everything we could, but we have been able to advance our technology to delay these symptoms. How? Symptoms of what? Acerubo syndrome. Ace. You can reach back and tap on his implant. These implants at least delay it. Doesn't cure it, but it delays people from, well, turning into vegetables. The blight. He looks at Brick. You had the blight too. Is that, In a way. Is that what they call it? They have it too. It's different, but same. Talk to me about the implants. What is it? A chip similar to Ajax, but without, well, Ajax. And it at least delays the progression. How? Something in the mind that it helps inhibit. I'm trying to sound smart here. I don't understand. (laughs) I I want to touch your face. (laughs) Is this normal? Is this what he needs to do? Ding's definitely gonna like, it's complicated. Step forward. So, can this be part of the first roll? Sure, we oh, can. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. He's diving in. He's going deep easy for in over his head. He's gonna be. There's a. There's a. Um, he's gonna get a scent. He's gonna get a. Uh, just a smell and aroma, and it's just very peaceful. And, and there's a. I don't understand. And I just need to try. I need to understand because if. There's a way to know how we can help here. I need to know how to do it. I'm a healer. Can Brick? <laughs> he looks back at his mom. I'll say, <laughs> if your uncle trusts him, I trust him. 
Yeah. All right. And what attribute are you rolling? I'm impressions. Presence. Okay. So we're gonna do the boon challenge rating. Yep. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay, so that gets power level seven. Yep. Which is as high as I think I can get. It might have a nine, but <clears throat> I I'm only at eight. Right. I'm more for the challenge rating. Oh oh oh. For how far it's hitting. <clears throat> so. Do I need to do a legend point? If you want to try for an exceptional success, you could do legend point. As of now, it's a success. Um. Yes, because mm-hmm. I think this is pretty important. Sure. This is pretty important. Okay. This uh, ding and ding. That's, that works. It's the fur coat. It's the fur coat. <laughs> Restriction. Restriction. He called me fur. <laughs> okay. Um, 31. 31. 32. 32. Plus the yep. legend point. What do I And need? That's, that's adding in. <clears throat> what was What's power level seven for pressing and say? <clears throat> Refamiliar or thereabouts. I can't remember the exact. Uh, what do you mean? The tier, the power level. What What do you gain access to? Oh, oh, oh. So power level seven. Target can choose a particular event, decision, person, place. Uh, target begins extraordinary encounters, dreams, out of body experiences, to which the GM will provide target detailed information. I can only maintain one such subject at a time. I'm focusing specifically on what the chip, what the what the thing targets in the brain. Mm-hmm. And so what he's focusing mm-hmm. is um, simply, like he's, he's not just looking, how do I say this? He's looking in her mind to understand what it does to other people's minds, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? And so it's the, he's, he's entering into the knowledge of it. Maybe, maybe Mind Dredge would be a better one to use. That's a bane. Right. I th- it's pressure. It, like, it's the the flavor. Right. Of it yeah. That, I'm not too worried about. It. It's more <clears throat> determining the challenge rating. I think because you've gotten past heroic, with that additional legend point spent, we'll call that an exceptional success. Okay. Um, because you passed Yay. that bar of thirty, and I would assume she's relatively a willing target. So we're doing something more boon esque. Right. So if, there's not a lot yeah. of resistance. Right. So. Two successes. So again, we're not going to have a certain bar we're reaching. We're just seeing how many successes and failures we get right. total. Okay. So I think, again, we'll we'll get more deep into exactly how we want it to all play out. If there's anything you can think of, Rai, for specifically with that, but generally speaking, there's going to be some advantage gained from that. J- just as like a... I, I, I don't know how it would come up, come about organically, but... yeah just as flavor, the implants are basically there as external hard drives for your brain. They just sit there and soak up the excess subphysical computations that your consciousness is doing that yep. don't belong there. Yep. So they just keep eating it up and eating it up until they, and once they overflow, yep. then it doesn't work anymore. So essentially what Quinn gets out of that is that he needs something to soak up the blight. Mm. So he's going to use the whale's fin to be able to, in the same place that the chip is located, be able to find <clears throat> that the blight will not just dissipate. It's not. It's no longer just kind of leaving as it can. Mm-hmm. It's not out. It's being focused in a specific mm-hmm. area and then being able to leave out one space. And I like adding on that he is inspired by the way the darkness was draining off of Aurora into yes. Malik. I was about to say that actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. That's that he was like of, the chip. Yeah, there needs to be a sacrificial vessel. There oh and there's an echo. Yep. I think m- your mother whispers the the words that many of the deities have said. I think grandfather said it before. To create something, there always is a sacrifice. And to be clear, the chips, they're not solving anything. Right. So it the yeah, it's like delaying. they're just refunneling. Yep. So that the, there's no sacrifice. Right. So there's no solution. Correct. Here's the thing, though, as he says to Brick, I am solving something. We are solving something. This is not just temporary. This is healing. This is permanent. They're coming back, but it's taken us so long. This. 
this knowledge, this understanding of what to do and how to how to go about the healing. This will take up so much less time. This will so much less energy. This will be this this will revolutionize how we bring people back. If I we can share our knowledge, we both obviously know different things about this. I, if we've advanced in some way, we share that with you. If you obviously magic, I don't understand much about it, but it has to help. All we're doing is delaying the inevitable. If you bring your people to us, we'll heal them. Like I said, the chip is just delaying what will happen. It's, there's only so much time before that person will still fall. And I think there's a, a brief understanding on, I think, Quinn's part. I was going to say the that. The blight in that sense, then, is not curable. Yeah. The I think the uh, the the version you get is that the whale's fin is a lesser sacrifice. The whale's fin itself, each bit of it you use, is right. sacrificed, but it is not <clears throat> enough of a sacrifice to yeah. truly free. So this will it will come back, and the people will come back to this eventually. Eventually, it will take them. Yes, and compared to what the Arkiros did, which was actually a life for a life, and sometimes more than one life for a life. So after, <clears throat> so after they do their thing, there's still a chance that it comes back eventually. No, yeah, it's not I a think you guys it's a chance. It's, it's an inevitability. It's an inevitability. Yeah. <clears throat> so, okay. But oh. it's almost like what they're doing is restarting it, and maybe even more than that, slowing it down as well. Like clearing the chip and letting it refill up again. Yep. Clearing it, let it refill, yeah. That's, yeah, I think. It's not a permanent solution. Quinn will understand that. And yeah. that's, that's disheartening, but at the same okay. time, it's. And it's that, I think generally everyone could get the sense that the source of the drain. The origin needs to go. These chips can only hold so much before they aren't of use. Understood. We'll do what we can. But if the origin doesn't exist, then neither does the blight. Well, then there'd be no need for any of it. Exactly. Well, then how do we get rid of them? Go to the source. We have no chance. My thoughts exactly. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna like this. Wait a minute. Grandfather is just there with you. He looks exhausted, uh, weary, worn. Um, the most tired you guys have ever seen him. How goes it? Not good. We will. Just as these chips, you say, we will eventually be too full, too undone. You see him flinch again. Time is running out. He seeks something. We know he wants Diatosis Heart to consume it. But there's more than that. Aye. What did you see, Aurora? I saw him. The priority module. And the world was on fire. And a man came out. And it, they were fighting. This man, could you feel his intent? Was it good or ill? I think for ill, I think the world is done. I fear that this origin, the destroyer, whatever he is, is looking to manifest himself on every level of existence. His final act he will not stop talking. 
but at least he divulges much. <clears throat> His hubris is without compare. He has said, the game has already been played, the pieces moved. But I think, and even in his tiredness, the old gnomish sort of smile and spark and a twinkle in his eye. I think he missed something. An old friend is back. Unexpected. The primal dragons have returned. They were not lost as we thought. Is that what we heard? Indeed. Are they with you? If I knew anything about dragons, I would love that, but magic, dragons, this is all new to me. I think they opened the path for you to come this way. They're not sure, but with them, maybe perhaps we just have a chance. They are. Weak. Oh. Not much is left. They gave so much. How do we help them? That is not what we need to do. They are ready to sacrifice. As they did once. A final play. I cannot withhold <clears throat> this monstrosity from my friend's heart much longer. <clears throat> and he seeks this module, I think, to manifest himself in the temporal realm. To finally and once for all consume all. But in that, perhaps, <clears throat> we can strike back. I can hold him off, along with the others but it would require a simultaneous strike all at once on every realm of existence. Our battlefield is chosen for us, but I think yours has not been chosen yet, and therein <coughs> lies perhaps our chance. And I think my old friends have given us an opportunity. He looks at Sam and Ding. Unexpected. We are ready to do what we must. And there's shadowy images of Marosha and Adalia and the Phoenix. But even this, even we, the gods cannot do it all alone. So is this priority module better in one of your battle spheres than here not to pass the buck but what is this really the best realm to defend it we might put a roll to that but mm, it's tough these are all unknowns granddaughter but if he is to manifest himself here physically and is in the temporal realm, he is bound to the laws of this realm still. Hmm. I do not know what would happen if he was transported to another realm. It is... Death, I see. A birth and death. Whatever that means, I would be wary to move it. Truly, I cannot say. For good or ill, I do not know. But what we do know, if he is manifested here, a portion of him, it will be a physical manifestation that you can deal with. Well, I plan to. I plan to deal with it really, really well. I think I can keep him here. 
I think whatever that part is, and, and Pim will like, like pick up the, the chain and kind of, you know, give it a couple of swirls. And lock him down. I think spreading him as thin as possible also would be ideal. He is already in every realm. Except here. So we just stretch his neck out a little farther than he meant. Indeed. And then... Do you mean him? Himself or his forces? <clears throat> no, him. His forces are him. They are but an extension of him. Well, how do we get him here, then? He is coming. Whether we want it or not. So the trick is to get him here on our terms instead of get him coming on his. I think that is ideal. So how do we do that? Well, wait a second. Did you have anything of, of, of like, some overarching being that you fought? Did you have to fight that? Do you know something about that piece to it? It was, it was never a being that you speak of. It, the best way to describe it was zombies. It's a zombie. Huh. It's very different here. Yeah. Dead beings that were still living. Oh, well, those Exactly what you're seeing here. But if he is the source, that's what we need to destroy. But we have to protect this module. That's a source of life. That's the source of life that we've been fighting for my Do whole we? life. <clears throat> Look, I, I don't mean to, I don't mean to be rude. But without it, how can we go on? But without it. This is it, the last of us. No, that's the last of you. Yes. Yes. But without it, he has nothing. But if he's coming anyways. But he's coming for it. It, not you. So you protect it? No. We get rid of it. If we destroy it, if we get rid of it. I understand they're not your people. You have a different connection to it. But I've been fighting this a lot longer than you have. Hold on. Quinn. What if we let him? What if we let him what? Use it. Get in. You mean it's like bait? No. He's not infinite. Can't be. If he's here. But what if the chips can't handle that once he gets a hold of it? They become totally overpowered. That's something we've never experimented with. If he's here. Look, we've been surrounded by these things. We don't, we don't get infected any faster. If he's here physically, we can fight him here physically. I don't do God stuff. I don't do supernatural. We can fight him if he's here. Destroy the source. He's going to come anyway, either way. Why exactly. Would we, why would we give him what he wants? There may be a chance. If he is truly attempting to manifest a physical body, there will be a moment. Like a flower growing. Hmm? There's a time. No, a tree. He smiles, thinking of a very specific tree. There's a time when a tree is weak and growing, but eventually it can get so large it is unstoppable. There will be a time when he first manifests that he will not be complete. It is a small window, albeit, but he would be vulnerable in this realm, and if we all struck at the same time, 
on every realm. If it fails, we would lose everything. No. I will not sacrifice on one. We've made too many compromises already. Too many retreats. They invade our space and we fall back. They assimilate entire nations and we fall back, not again. <clears throat> the line must be drawn here, this far, no farther, and I will make them pay for what they've done. I do not think we are in disagreement, young prince. It is only a matter of where we strike and when. If he is weak in that moment, we either strike with all we have at the precise, and he pulls out, oh, I actually have one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> pulls out <laughs> a clock and looks at it. <laughs> at the precise moment, or we wait, until we have nothing left and hope he burns out before us. But what does about the, his minions? Um, if he's does, gone, they're gone. But they're surrounding him. They're going to be here just as much as he is. We can't focus an attack if there's millions of them or if there's a hundred of them. Quinn, that's why we let him where we want him. But he's got to be alone. How do we get him alone? We can do all we can. Though I think, again, every, it would must be all in or not at all. You would have to send forces, create distractions. We will do our own. We will pour everything in so that he, his focus, his Avarice is focused in as many places as possible. A distraction. Something to draw his attention. Hmm? I, I think, though, we're... Are we really talking about sacrificing the future of their people? Can we really justify using that as 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 bait in, in, in a ploy in the war like if the rest of this fight matters which you you say it does how are people like Iliad supposed to carry on with it, knowing we're jeopardizing that hope that's that's taking away the the chance that all this could be why not keep it safe and find another way of drawing him out we we can't risk giving up your future and then coming losing that coming through and saying we won and it's just too bad that you lost again there's no difference in the us let's say worst case scenario the module is dead and gone. Life is life. This is my home. So be it. But he's one being. If he manifests, why wouldn't it be one? I don't see why not. I cannot say for sure. There's no hope otherwise. Although I will say this. His hubris knows no bounds. I find it hard to imagine that he would <clears throat> want the opportunity for others. This whole thing, he says, And for a moment, Grandfather's eyes are going to kind of white out, and he actually lets you hear the voice of Origin speaking. 
it very well may be that that is what Origin is saying right now as the gods are fighting him on their realm. For this I have been tested. I will prevail. In the end, there will only be one as it was in the beginning, and the silence at last will be mine. No more will the song mock me, no more will I be torn out twain, a thousand pieces spread about, one whole singular. He talks too much. He took my mother. And I'm not letting him take any more of my family. It's taken many mothers and many families. I have a thought. I remember years ago when I was a boy, a small carnival came through our town and there was this magician who um, did this fancy little trick, had us keep an eye, our eye on a ball and then somehow there ended up being two balls, although we didn't realize until the end of his trick. Could we do that with the priority module? Pop it Don't between quite different realms. How, but even create a distraction, a diversion. Can we make him think he sees it? Could we have a technology on the ship that could like copy an image of it? Yeah, for sure. In a way. We'd make a roll for it. Okay. Science fantasy. We potentially oh, could have the technology for that. We can what am I saying? I mean, I could probably do that. <laughs> Create a copycat. The question is, could you trick a something, god? Right. Oh, that's well, a good point. It's not even just can you make it look like it, but it, the souls in it, the life in it. Well, that's where we can combine magic plus our science. We create the copycat image. I don't know anything about the magic here, but it's got to be something more than we have. I. Nothing can change without sacrifice. So what's going to be the sacrifice? We've been using chips. We need something much bigger. Yaberg has been in the back of the room listening. I do not know what you are all talking about precisely. But I have seen my gods return. I will be the sacrifice if that is required. My life is complete. It would be an honor. Homer's going to step up, too. I haven't done much. But that would be something to do. He looks at Iliad. Sacrifice is very powerful. It changes the world as it changes people. Okay, what? Diversion. Fake module. With you, Bear. He smiles. Your bag. 
I think we take this to the steps of Avisen and the Haseta itself. Let us spit in their faces. If there's one thing you all have taught me, if you're going to do it, be loud and obnoxious about it. Really? That's your takeaway from all of this? <laughs> he looks more at Iliad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gives him a point. <clears throat> we need a small crew. I can offer some of my men. No. 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 You stay. They don't know you. You be here with your brother. Your but they know how to fight here. them. Aye. But we know how to make a distraction. Mm. Again. If my brother trusts you, I trust you. I think Ilya and I would be able to handle the distraction on our own. Ilya looks in his backpack at the, at the metronome. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be wise to keep you three here. I'm what here to it? chain the beast. What if there's a different way? You keep giving us all these ways. We gotta pick one. If we have the distraction. I Focus all of the enemy forces. Yep. There. With the copy. Then reveal that it's the fake. Aye. And we have the real module. And if we start to destroy it, he'll have to move. Well, the goal is to get him by himself, eh? And we'll have the module all by itself. And we'll have the armies. How far apart are these modules? How much time does that give us? It takes about... As the Scolari flies, about... Four weeks. Four weeks, yeah. Four weeks. Four weeks on foot. Well, no, we have a ship. Yeah. There's also the stones. The what? The stones, the runes. Uh-huh. Uh, Demeter has been working on being able to set up a quick getaway from Norris to Denothir this whole time. It would be instantaneous. Then we wait till the army's away, and then we do it. I will work with Iliad, mm. and we'll come up with a plan. Quinn. We'll use our own armor. Yes. We're going to need you here. I can get him with here. With the module. I can get him here in a blink of an eye. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot more if we don't nip this in the bud. Because I don't know a lot of people who talk to gods. What's a god? Something of the sort. A humble god. Who well. knew this all existed? If let's talk. If we can get it started, even if we make the assumption that there's an army with us and it's just the two of us, if we can make our noises loud enough, if we can make our songs grand enough, if we can make the fight real enough, it could just be the two of us. And then we'll find a way to get back here. We'll find a way. It's very far. It's not too far anymore. She can jump quite far now. And I'll help. Well then. As I can. Let's 
get to work. Aurora, you've been quiet. You're sacrificing a bear to be a distraction. No. I am presenting myself the opportunity to spit in their faces. Is it is my honor, Abaddon. Wants to ask the grandfather. And this is probably more for Aurora's sake than anything else, and he's gonna hold her hand and he's gonna have that that thought. Grandfather, will he fight alongside our Kuro and Moloch? Oh. In a sense, yes. Although now that our friends are back, he will be fighting with them. He'll be more. Different. There's this absolute beautiful look of admiration from, from Quinn to your bag. Understanding that this is, this is no real sacrifice on his part. <laughs> mm -hmm. That would be okay. There is no loss for me in death. No longer. I will become one with those who made me. And perhaps I take a few with me. Can, <clears throat> can Brick have, at some point, just a, a little moment with you, Berg? Yeah, for sure. Um, I was wrong about you. I mean, I thought you were Metal Golem. Apparently not so much. But what do you mean? You're not pathetic. <laughs> Sorry I said that. <laughs> I was feeling ornery. If Ily had taught me anything, it's to not listen. Brick's just gonna do a hand. Yeah, blast. he'll take it. Mm -hmm. I didn't say it, but I thought you were too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. I hope so. Be interesting to see where a metal golem ends up after death. Mm. <laughs> yeah, be good. I will not be good. <laughs> <laughs> I think Pim Pam has a question for Grandfather in that regards too, which is simply what happens to us? There's no reason for a cycle again if there's nothing to come back into so if I go I want to fight with our Kira that choice is always yours there will be a day and perhaps it is sooner than I thought and there won't be any more of you hmm Eventually, the story is complete, and a whole new adventure begins. Well, if I don't get a chance to have um, my own book in the family hearth, maybe a, a little bit of an earlier iteration next time? Just... If we have a next time, most assuredly. Hmm. Oh. Okay. You did seem to save the best for last, though. <sighs> I have always trusted future me. <laughs> uh, 
The battle's decided. Hmm. Does everyone know what they want to roll? No. <laughs> uh, so we got a couple. Big picture stuff is <clears throat> Quinn Iliad heading out with Yaberg to Pim Pam's gonna go too. Okay, yeah. and Pim Pam to go out bring the to bring the army. The rest of us are sneaking the priority module. Back to Dinalthir. Mm -hmm. Waiting for some kind of signal, and then we start trying to destroy <laughs> Sorry. the module. Okay. With the assumption that knowing that the module is about to be destroyed, it will force Origin to... Uh, manifest mm -hmm. right there without his army. Yep. And then pray that they get back in time. Yep. I love it. I like the idea that um, even though the bouncers will stay with Brick, I think ships are going to drop you guys off at Avicen to get you there out of nowhere. Like it's kind of a space Trojan horse sort of idea. Just dropping in out of nowhere. They take off and fly back. You guys go and do your distraction while the real module is being set up and activated. And then once he shows up, I just pull our crew yep. back into the fight. And now you guys have not only easily communications through brick from the ship. So you can be pinged as soon as it's happening. Cool. Yeah. Um, could I try to organize some yo-yos to extract people out of a VEASAN? Yeah. After it's too late to try to get as many people out. Well, that's just the thing. It's just going to be us. There aren't going to be any others. Is there not going to be anybody else there? No. Yberg and Homer will go. It's just Yberg and Homer, but they're not coming back. It's just us mm. and Iliad to bring us back. He's going to create the army. And I mean, I'm going to be a decent percentage of that. <laughs> the point is just to get all the forces focused in one area to get you to draw the attention when the time is right. But we could try to drop yo-yos to extract. Yeah, good. Yo-yos that don't come back? That do come back, but are only filled with Yberg and Homer. Yeah, you could set an automated yo-yo. Pop open, doors open limited amount of time it automatically pops going back up and I think you'd have to set up the rest you guys can decide what you want to do with the rest of the NPCs I, I guess and that the, would, like you've this, got dwarven armies you've got the ship would have to be over a Vison then if that was the case fair enough yep which could add to the distraction if the ship is over a Vison to focus it doesn't mean you don't have soldiers in Dinalthir. You don't have bouncers there. Right. But that would mean we're opening it up to... Yeah. And you guys would know, too, willing sacrifices have abilities like Pim Pam to teleport, too. So you will have to prepare, like, when it activates, Origin can call some of the army there quickly. So defenses will have to be ready at dental here. There'll still be some assault. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not telling you what to do at all. No. <laughs> the the ship should stay at dental here. Hmm. It is all right, Brick. I 
I can handle here. You want them to go? I'll handle Denulthir. You get the priority module. All right. Sam, do we have any mantis? Yes. You take what you need. And Jonathan, I just got you back. Can you please keep this promise? As long as I can. I don't like that. But I know you have to do what you have to do. And we're going to complete this. Woman. Please. Please do your best to come back. I will do my absolute best. Thank you. <laughs> this has been another fantastic episode of Mob Squad and Evidence Studios Production. Do give us a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. To follow the adventure, you can further support us and become a part of the ever-growing forest known as Avenue Studios by joining our locals or Patreon community. Doing so not only helps us continue to create high-quality content, but you also gain access to bonus content as well as our private Discord where you can chat with us, play games, join in the uh, Westmarch-style Kingmaker campaign, and so much more. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for the sound, music, and ambience that we use as well as Dadbot Fitness, Adam from the Interplanar Crossroads. Thank you. Start playing games with Jacob and so much more. I will! 200 episodes! Thank you so much for joining the adventure. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.